as you can see the compartment runs from over here to this wheel well to the other wheel well and you can see the currency lines all the way across the uh, the vehicle it runs the entire length here and it's packed with cash my belief is because both compartments are packed full of cash my belief is that um, they could not get any more blocks of money in these two compartments and that's why they stuck the other blocks up in the middle of the wall inside the vehicle now here is one block that's, that's marked 24 and 3 fourths and i'm sure that's 24 pounds because this is an extremely heavy compressed block of marijuana and as you can see it goes all the way down you have some small but then some large and these go all the way down as i said to the floor as you can see we located uh, just approximately 34 uh, blocks of marijuana and uh, three separate blocks of uh, cocaine kilos of cocaine and these 34 blocks uh, as you can see most of them say 21 27 22 24 for the most part, they're, they're more than 20 pounds, uh, between 20 and 30 pounds. So we definitely have got more than 600 pounds. It looks like we've got around probably 700 plus pounds, and, uh, including three kilos of cocaine. Now this just shows you how much you can hide uh, just in, in a one little small pallet area. Uh, I can assure you uh, any amount of mustard is not going to cover up a large quantity of narcotics as far as the smell goes. What I located was approximately 106 blocks of uh, marijuana, compressed uh, heavy blocks of marijuana, weighing on an average of 20 pound blocks up to about 38 pound blocks. Um, located 106 and the total weight was approximately 2,105 pounds, being uh, more than a ton of marijuana, as you can see here.